came today to the Supercomputing Center in Barcelona with my Big Data Master's class and my Professor Rohit. Today we saw the capabilities of supercomputing and what it looks like and what you, kind of projects you can do with it and how it can, has the potential to change the feature and change how we process data. So we saw disks and hard drives and how they're connected, lots of wires, a cooling system. Um, it is used to, to process large amounts of data and to do simulations and complicated simulations that you it would cost you a lot of money and time to do. So you can take, for example, um, a wind farm and put it on the computer and then look at it, give it the calculations and the parameters you want and run tests instead of you having to go out there physically and measure all these things and construct something and then later realize that it, didn't, it wasn't going to work in the first place. At the end, they showed us a video with uh, five different projects and the different ways in which they use supercomputing and the results from those projects. More and more, every day we need more and more computing power because we have more and more data also. Um, but it's really interesting, it has the capabilities to do a lot of great things. And so as we're trying to solve these complicated problems in the world, we need more computing power. So it's gonna grow a lot. It was the first time I'd never been here before and it was really interesting.